it's a fancy restaurant. What was your schooling like? Oh, oh we've talked about our own schools already. Let's hear we've what Hisao has school, to say. So what about Hisao? Yeah. Let's hear from him. Mine? <clears throat> Let's see. It was a fairly normal public school, I suppose. Maybe a bit busier than the norm? Well, I did quite well in class and played in the soccer club. Since I am an only child and my parents both worked a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. I was not prepared for his out. I wasted most of my free time and money at the arcade with my three friends. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's yeah. usually three friends. Yeah, no matter yeah. how much I played, though, I never did manage to beat Mei at any of those machines. Even Takumi and Shin lost her whenever they tried. Then I'd be left trying to be the irresponsible adult when Shin and Mei fought. Again. Just the four of us, aimlessly enjoying our childhood. Those were some pretty silly times. Which reminds me, mm -hmm. you should maybe play one of the Kingdom Hearts games. Kingdom Hearts 2, specifically, yeah, is good fun. Yeah, I need to see which one of the remakes. There is a remake, but it's called something ridiculous, Ooh. like... Yeah, yeah, it probably will be. It's, it's called something like Kingdom Hearts Forever Resurrection 2.30 um, yeah, yeah, Entropy they, they love Edition it. They love or something like that. Stupid names and weird bits of plot. It's yeah. excellent. Uh, I catch myself as I realise I'm starting to zone out. The days of my old school disappearing to the night sky and bright city lights outside the window. Lily's face is an odd mixture of curiosity and sympathy. Given her strict schooling, I suppose something like this would seem an interesting contrast to the only life she's known. It sounds like your previous school was a lot of fun. Hmm. I'm not really sure how much of it is nostalgia, but there are some nice memories. That's in the past, though. I can't go back there now, but through my accident I found a new life I'd never have imagined leading. Yeah, I got a hot anime waifu. That's true. What would I have? Peace and calm. <laughs> what were you gonna say? I can't remember. Like, what would life? Have... <laughs> Imagine if, Ima... so you know, <clears throat> alternate universe, uh, Hisao is with Iwanako. I bet that relationship would have fizzled out in like two weeks. I gave it a month tops. Mm, I would have given it to like the end of the school year. Uh. Like. Because if you think about it, his heart attack was like halfway through the school year, sort of thing. Mm. Mm. And then he spent however long in the hospital. It was like almost a year. Was it yeah, long? rough. So after that, you know, that's that's a good. That would be a good while. So if he hadn't let, gone in the hospital in the first place, I think the end of school. Year. Let let us know. Let us yeah. know. Do the math. I mean, um, yeah. The peace and calm of Yamaku, a new direction for my future and science, the friendship of Shizune, Misha, Hanako, and, and most of all, you. He's very poetic. Yes. You know, he, he talks... He talk good. <laughs> he talk good. <laughs> he talk good. Yeah. Uh, she gives a deep, genuine smile as she moves her hands towards me, her fingers just lightly reaching out my face, searching out my face before softly caressing my cheek. Her hand reluctantly retreats after a second of warm silence, as we notice the waiter arriving with our meals. Hey, do you mind if we just stop for a second? Rachel needs me to take a picture of her. Um, it's, it's for a thing. Take a picture. Girls take on picture. film! Sorry. Well, while he's away. Girls on film. Girls away. Shut up. I'm trying to tell a story. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! I'm trying to entertain the people while you're da, away. Da, 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 yeah, hi. I'll sing the archers if I need to. I'll fucking oh, we'll sing the soup. archers at you, mate. See um, how you like it. Rob. Join in. Rob! Anyway, did you read that or are you going to tell your story? Well, you said you had to go and stop and take a picture. Well, I took the picture. Oh, right. Okay, well, you should have said. Uh, her hand reluctantly retreats after a second of warm silence. I, I did read that. I read that and okay, you were like, oh, I have to go take a picture. Lily does a deaf job of covering her condition, except for the fact that her nod to him is slightly misaligned due to his silence. So he just fucking caspered over and was like, Whoosh. 
I do that to be fair. <laughs> or I did that when I was working the floor. I would just like I'm speedy. Anyway, mm. she really seems to work hard at appearing as normal as possible in public. While I noticed it long ago, I still can't quite gauge whether it's a want to not be treated differently, a slight sense of vanity, or some mixture of both. The dish served lines up to the salad name, and Let's... the portion's pleasantly large. The dish served lives up to the salad name. Yeah. He said lines. Did I? No. Yeah, it's alright, don't uh, worry about it. And the portion's pleasantly large. With sliced eggs and tomato, it looks very enticing indeed. Eggs, sure. Tomatoes? Tomato, no. No, the Not only time no. I ever like Not a tomato no. is in a burger, and even then. I like a tomato sauce. No, no, it makes the whole thing so soggy and horrible. <laughs> okay. A nice bit of iceberg. A nice bit of iceberg if you're gonna have like, <clears throat> mm. for a burger, like you want some lettuce. Yeah. I don't know, Maybe a pickle or two. It's like but tomatoes. Are yeah, out. tomatoes and cucumber are just like out for me. I don't like cucumber. Sog makers. Cucumbers. Just, you got to be really careful with cucumbers. Sometimes it's, it's nice stick, and refreshing. But you're a fucking. <laughs> 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 oh, this is exactly why I sent you that that scene from the Holy Grail. <laughs> because shit like this happens. Uh, anyway. Lily takes her knife in one hand and fork in the other, quickly getting to work on the dish as I do. It's later than when we usually have dinner, so we're both eager to dig in. My cautious skewering of leaves and vaguely meat-like squares with my fork is matched by Lily's silent and measured prodding and chewing. An occasional tap around the sides of a piece of food to work out its edges is the only giveaway to her lack of sight. I'm Sorry, done with I was mind. just enjoying the picture there. No, do, do, it's fine. Take it in. Lily taking the last few bites as I sit observing her. Finished, Hesar? Yeah, it was pretty nice. That much is very true. I never thought a simple salad could be so tasty and filling. But then again, I suppose that's why it costs so much to eat here. Especially if it's like a niçoise, because you've got like eggs, as he says, like eggs, tomato, tuna, like, there's a lot yeah. in it. Aye. <clears throat> And eggs are very filling. Content oh, yeah. with my approval, and evidently agreeing, Lily gives a small nod. Just anything that's protein laden, you know? Absolutely. It's very, very filling. <clears throat> you know, given that you're part foreign, exotic looking, and quite, exotic looking and quite pretty, I'm surprised that nobody's ever confessed to you before. She does look like a... She looks like a Valkyrie, basically. Oh, yes. Excellent. Tee hee hee. Tee hee hee. Uh huh. Are we gonna. Come on. Come on, game. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, there we go. You're assuming nobody did. I keep forgetting that I'm doing the female line. Sorry. You're, yeah, it's okay. The simple statement takes me off guard. I shouldn't be surprised, given that I was complimenting her just moments before. Do you think that really long mean? pauses is be are because we're getting close to the end and the game's like, I know you want to hang on? So, we're just giving uh, you as maybe. much time as possible. Maybe. <clears throat> really? I've received several confessions, both in this school and my previous one. Yeesh, alright. Wait. I'll rub it in. Wait. Adolescent, Catholic, all girls. Wow, okay. Adolescence <laughs> is a funny time. <laughs> I'd never put those pieces together before. That's that's funny. That's quite funny, actually. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine so. Yeah. I mean, I I know a few girls that went to an all-girls Catholic school. Some of them. I mean, are yeah. Homosexual. You know. <laughs> I uh, know. She's kind of talking as if she's above it herself. Yeah. Huh? How easily you say such a thing. Lily looks surprised for a moment before a playful smirk covers her face. Is that jealousy? Give <laughs> in to your emotions. <laughs> Search your anger. feelings. You know it to be true. What? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. 
<laughs> You're a bad liar. <laughs> <laughs> she rips off her wig and it's Kenji. <laughs> This whole time, he's like, you're a bad liar, my dude. <laughs> uh, dear. <laughs> you, anyway. Th- anyway, you should take that into account. Yeah. Then again, you, uh, you'll know when I'm lying. So I get really red ears when I lie. Oh. Yeah. The tips of my ears grow red. So if you, if I'm telling you something, my ears go red. You know I'm lying. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, so now yeah, I can't we'll, lie to I'll you. I'll reject you. I have to tell you the truth Just all like, the time. Yeah. Yeah. Honest, honest, bomb. Yeah. Then again, I do appreciate how sincere you are, even if it, even if you don't intend to be. Sometimes. I think your honesty will always serve you well when dealing with others. You know what? It, it, it has when I've been honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I clear my throat in mock disapproval of this whole business and try to steer the conversation elsewhere. <clears throat> to tell the truth, though, I, I do prefer solitude to being surrounded by others. I don't think I could maintain a social circle like you do. He's very eloquent in this scene. Like he's un- Yeah. It's <laughs> unusual for our boy. What? She can say she contemplates this for a moment. Maybe I don't wine. think that's true either. I've seen how gentle and caring you are around Hanako, and you get on marvelously well with others, even those whom you hardly know. I think you're quite adept at social situations. I suppose he's been reading a lot. Yeah, true. But on that note, what of your confession, Sisa? I'm sure someone like you must have had at least one admirer. Yeah, there was this one time, uh, I, I nearly fucking died. <laughs> oh, as I open my mouth to speak, I can feel my face turn slightly dour. At times like these, I secretly, secretly appreciate the fact that she can't see my expressions. Uh, just one. Her name was Iwanako. It was when she confessed to me that I had my heart attack. They're in the woods during winter. Lily finds herself speechless, not expecting for the topic to move into such an area. My condition has always been something of a concern for her, something that I strive strive to minimize despite my body's best efforts to the contrary. And she cares about you, man. Afterwards, she visited me for a while when I was in the hospital. For weeks, she came in and talked. It was usually just small talk or classroom gossip, but that was enough. But eventually, she just stopped coming. Yeah, that's kind of, that's that's the bit that really got me, man. It's like he's in hospital, she's she's visiting him, and then she just stops. Yeah. You know, and I imagine his friends must have fucking. Dingy them as Auto well. stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that he said is as much. Sad. In the you prologue, know? he was like, "Iwanako stopped coming. Like the the letters from my class stopped coming. Like it all just yeah. kind of stopped." That's uh, it's really sad. But it gave him the opportunity for a new start. You know. Yeah, yeah. She was there every day, then every other day, then once a week. And then finally, one day, she just stopped visiting entirely. Mm. Mm. Did you ever see her again? Wrapped in my own little world, I shake my head before remembering the futility of the gesture. We need to be honest. Well, Julian. My gut tells me that we need to be honest. Can you fact check for me if my You should gut is listen correct? to your gut. You should listen to your gut. Okay. Uh, let me let me save just in case I do some kind of fucking idiot misclick. Cause I know me, I know myself <laughs> far too well. Uh, we'll mention the letter. The memory of that single letter Iwanako sent me comes back to my mind. I never saw her again, but after I was sent to Yamaku. She wrote me one letter. Lily's face shows an expression I know well. I've piqued her interest. 
I'd be slightly offended that it's simply a matter of curiosity for her, but she's never been very good at masking her reactions. Uh, uh, in hindsight, it really didn't say much. What was going on in my old class, how she was faring, and <clears throat> almost as an afterthought, that it was probably best for the both of us that we don't see each other again. Fucking hell, you gotta like yeah. rev him up like a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a chainsaw, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, why you got the. Yeah. That's why you always do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> After. Re <clears throat> oh no. After reading it, I end up reassessing a lot of things I thought I managed to work out. For the most part, that letter reminded me that the world around me was still moving, and just how much I'd become isolated from it. And I guess it also reminded me of what I'd lost. She gives the information some thought before her face lights up in realisation. No doubt she's worked out that it was this letter which had contributed to my angst during the lunch on the rooftop. It's a rare sight to see Lily quite so lost for words. Her entire persona is a little deflated from her earlier rapt interest. As charismatic as she is, in the end, that isn't any replacement for life nor relationship experience. Perhaps it is better she sent it than not. How's that? It can be difficult to work out how best to communicate with those you haven't met in a long time. All the more so, considering your separate situations. Instead of doing what was easiest, she built up the, cor uh, the courage to talk to you one last time. Not only for her sake, but from how it sounds, for yours as well. Uh, maybe. I don't hate her for it. Not that I ever really did, but... I don't know. Probably a more non-committal answer than I should give. But it isn't without cause. I've never looked at the situation from you and Akko's perspective like that before. Seconds pass in silence before Lily speaks again. Moving to Yamaku must have been hard for you, having your friends and even your girlfriend taking from you for no fault of your own. I really call her my girlfriend. Yeah. She she told me that she had feelings for me and then I had a heart attack and she <laughs> decided to visit me because she kind of felt guilty, I guess? I don't know. The worst of it passed while I was in the hospital. When all that surrounds you is four white walls and a small television, your mind takes on a life of its own. Yeah, I've definitely noticed that in, um, you know, thanks to the elephant. Mm. I don't know. I've had more time to myself and I've had more time to think about Yeah. things that <clears throat> I hadn't had the time to think about. And yeah. it's a good thing, really. Yeah. Uh, was the experience uh, hard? Pleasant. Yeah. It wasn't pleasant at all, but sometimes you need. It can. Yeah. I feel like some people can go through life without having thought about, you know, the things that they're really Once. scared of or yeah. that they want to. You know, they don't things ask the they questions they really want to ask, to and they. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I get what you mean. Mm. Anyway, I agree. Fucking. I agree. This game. This suck game. out all the wisdom anyway yeah yeah it does that anyway <clears throat> it's like my old school i guess i just try not to dwell on what's happened and keep thinking ahead all that reminiscing does is get me down and it's largely thanks to you that it feels like things are finally getting back on track oh oh hmm. that was that's fucking what's his What's happened? No. He's become such a player, it's, such a no, such a man. gentleman. Absolutely, he's that's, gone from a bumbling. <laughs> that's pleasing to hear, Hisso. He's gone from a bumbling fool to this absolute Chad. Uh, she lowers her face slightly, her expression pensive. I guess I went too far and embarrassed her. He's better than a Chad, man. He's like he's, he's starting to become he... like the epitome of chivalry right here, man. Oh yes. It's what every every man should hope to be. Chivalrous. And all aspire for. Mm. Oh. Be whatever you want. But. Be who you want to be. B a r b i e. <laughs> B a r. 
Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, sure. That was. Do you not remember that advert? No. 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 Be am I, who am I you come wanna a... be? Hey, B A R B I E. No. Oh wait, no, I remember. No, I, 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 there was a there was a moment in time where my parents banned television. We just oh, had no TV. Yeah. Yeah, so we have no TV. I suppose you went through something a bit like what I did when you entered Yamaku anyway, right? I imagine the vast majority of our school students did after all. You said yourself that you made friends in your old school. I can't imagine many followed you. Lily's deep smile drops, her expression unexpectedly darkening. Even her hands retreat to her lap. After a long while, she speaks. Hissa, can you promise not to tell anyone else what I'm about to? I promise. She looks slightly taken aback by my serious tone, but then relents and smiles weakly before continuing. When I moved to Yamaku, I did regret losing the friends I had at my other school. But there was one person whom I most regretted not seeing again. He was the reason I took up English as a future career. He? Considering she came from an all-girls school, that can't have been a schoolmate then. I rejected the confessions I'd received until then for him. Every time I improved my English skills, his praise was my most treasured reward. Did, did you have hots for teach? I think she was hot for teacher. <laughs> ah, it's funny, isn't it? Someone like me, able to boast about the people who have set eyes on me like someone so utterly unattainable as my tutor. It truly is the most ridiculous thing. Did you... She quickly shakes her head from side to side. I couldn't. Even then, I knew it wasn't possible. A silence reigns over both of us. This does seem to explain her ardent focus on her future in teaching English, but I can't help thinking of her confession to me. She lost him without ever letting her feelings be known. Did she somehow fear that would happen again, but with me? I don't really know what to make of it. I've heard of such relationships before. Taboos born of such things as puberty and youth. Mm. The fact that she had the good judgement not to act on it, though, was heartening. I know this must sound strange, but please, don't think of me. Why would I think any less of you for that? Yeah, man, we've all had a crush on our teachers. Oh, like yeah. Another, you know? To be honest, I think he must have been a very nice person if you liked him so much. Not only that, you stopped yourself before going too far. I remember uh, I had a crush on my optician. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I think that... What does that say about you? <laughs> what? I don't fucking know, but she... Oh, yeah, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. I can't see a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she was just like... She was like... Um, I think she had just... Uh, uh, she had probably just finished her training at uni. So she was like right. the, the youngest person there. I was like 15. Right. Um, right. Right, okay. And she was just very I was gonna attractive. Say, you, was it when you got glasses for the first time and you were able to see people properly? No, because like, then I was in primary five. I, I didn't yeah, really, but you know, that could happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I didn't really have any serious crushes in primary five. Or any, mm. I mean, not any that I could think of. You know, yeah, it was okay. when I was a lot older and I was just like, you know, riddled with hormones. As we all were. Yeah. Are. <clears throat> For a moment, she looks somewhat lost. Most unexpectedly, though, it isn't a second before she starts to laugh. The sound takes me off guard. It's not a giggle, nor a restrained chuckle, but honest and genuine laughter. I find myself smiling. And not just at her display of relief and happiness, but for her to trust me enough to let me see this most private of secrets. Before I realise it, I feel her palm touching my face. 
her touch as gentle as ever, with her thumb slowly stroking my cheek. You're ki- <coughs> You're kind, Hisao. I really do love you. Oh! Seeing her face like this, with her palm gently caressing my face, I think tonight has been a wonderful night. I guess we've both had pretty weird pasts, huh? I would be very skeptical of anybody who came up to me and was just like, yeah, nothing interesting happened in my life. Mm. Like, mmm, mmm, why the fuck you lying? <laughs> <laughs> I think by most standards, our present is rather odd as well. Life is odd. I smile and <laughs> life is weird, man. I smile and hang my head. This woman can easily run rings around me. Of that, I'm quite sure. Boo, 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 boo. I look back around the room with its continuing quiet hum of patrons. This place probably fits into the odd category too. Why? It, they serve it is a tad odd. overbearing. Is it too posh? No. That's one word for it, yeah. Is this a soft posh? Is this a fancy place? It's a fancy place! <laughs> uh, I catch the eye of a scurrying waiter, a short, scrawny guy no older than 20. He kind of reminds me of Kenji, though unlike him, the waiter isn't dressed for winter during midsummer. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, reminds me of another funny story. I'll just tell it really, really quickly. Uh, okay. I just got enough from work. I was dressed in a white shirt, black trousers, and a tie. Right? Yes. I'd walked into... Um, uh, what was it? Uh, into stereo because I was playing a gig there, <coughs> um, and I just said to the guys, I was like, uh, I just walked in and I got served. It must have looked about like eighteen, nineteen, right? He comes up to me, he's like, "Oh, hey, how's it going?" And, well, he looked at me really weirdly. He looked at me and he was just like, "Hi," because he, I think mm -hmm. he thought I was like a fifth year, sixth year, like going into a vegan place for food. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, and he was like, "Hi, how are you doing?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm good, man." And he's like, "You in here for some food?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing a gig here later on. I'm just, I was just looking to get a wee, uh, some something like to me, eat, yeah. Um, yeah. while the rest of the band arrives." He's like, "All right, okay." And he sits me down, and I'm just looking. I'm like, "I'll get the, the whatever." They, they do a really nice sweet potato burger there, so I was thinking about going for yes, that. Yes, sounds good. Uh, and he's like, oh, what would you like to drink? Some water? Uh, or, uh, you know, we have Coke. And I'm like, nah, I'll take a pint of Amstel, please. And he's like, right, no, I'm going to have to see your ID, mate. I'm like, sure, go for it. Yeah. And he went away with it, and he was away with it for ages. And, like, looking at it, he couldn't believe it. Uh, it was my driver's license, and he just kept looking at it, kept yeah. looking at it, kept looking at it. And he went, here, man, I'm so sorry. I thought you were, like, <laughs> 16 i'm like hey it's cool don't worry about it he's like you're actually older than me like <laughs> <laughs> i'm really sorry man i was uh, like yeah. hey it's, it's cool don't worry about it you're doing mm. your job so it's totally fine you know and if anything it's a compliment for me you know i still look young and handsome anyway that's the story anyway that's that's a good story <clears throat> After a curt bow and an offer to remove our plates, Lily asks for the bill politely and softly. With expert coordination, he manoeuvres around the tables, our plates in hand, to retrieve our bill. In no time, he reappears through the doors, smartly handing our bill to Lily. Hmm, speedy. He promptly hands it to me, causing him to raise an eyebrow. <laughs> As I read the small computer printed leaflet, the cost is considerably more than I expected. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh! Uh, I quickly stammer at the amount, to which Lily merely nods and reaches for her purse. Giving her car to the waiter, he disappears once again. That was a disproportionately large amount of money. This statement seems to make, make Lily slightly uncomfortable. My family leaves me more than enough for my education. The same goes for my sister, though she dislikes being reminded of the fact, and I would, ha I hate to remind you of the fact that this is the end of the episode. So yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, oh, that was another good I one. I have been putting that. off trying to ask for the last like few minutes. Oh, you're, 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 doing, you're doing great. You're, I'm really proud of you. Thank, Thank you, you for trusting me. Yes. Anyway, I do uh, like, subscribe, leave a little comment. Um, Follow us on social media. Tell, tell us what's the most you've paid for at a restaurant for food. Oh. oh. Um, I think the most. I don't I've, think about it. Um, I think the most I've ever paid for is like, I paid like fifty pounds or something once for dinner, and I thought that oh, was a bit much. Um. So anyway, that's me. Uh, yeah. See y'all next time. Bye. Part timers, we do this part time. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.